What's up? So I am so pumped today. We got our first ever follow along workout. Yes, it's exercise at home and guess what? No equipment needed. This was truly inspired by a lot of my clients who needed extra quick, fast workouts that they could do at home and help burn and melt some off of that belly fat. Of course, you all know it's gonna be all nutrition, but I write out all my clients' workouts and I'm tired of constantly writing out workouts for everybody all the time. Not that I don't love what I do, I put 110% into all my clients' exercises, but I wanted to create this video series so now you could do these follow along workouts at home with me and you don't have to pay to train with me. <laughs> so I am doing this to help everybody get in shape, whether or not you're snowboarding or skiing or doing any kind of sport or you just wanna look better. So follow along with me. Let's go ahead and grab that water bottle, grab your yoga mat, put it on the ground, carpet, lie on the floor, whatever. And we're gonna get into it in just a second. And before we do, I just wanna let you know I got a giveaway, but if you wanna cheat, you can look at the contest rules down in the link in the description down below. But stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna talk about it more. So with that being said, let's roll. Give it five seconds, and here we go. And five, four, three, two, one. And we got a reverse crunch, hip lift. So we're bringing our knees into our chest, exhaling and squeezing, bringing the legs all the way out. And if you're having a hard time with it, you can keep the feet down, bring the knees to the chest, and then bring it back down if you feel like it's hurting your back. But we're gonna go for it, bringing the knees all the way up. Bringing it out, exhale. Make sure when you come all the way down, you inhale, you're taking a deep breath of air. And I like to push my hands into the ground. And that's gonna get a deeper squeeze into the abs when I get that hip lift. And I'm gonna exhale and squeeze. So bring your legs out, bringing them in. Nice hip lift, going all the way through. Inhale the way down, exhale and squeeze. Remember, these reps, they don't have to be fast, just nice, Controlled squeezes, really engage your core. So here we Five, go, next move, four, we're going three, in to two, the plank, one. alternating arm reach. So, plank position, alternating arms, reaching through. And we're just gonna be alternating side to side. So we're bringing one hand up at a time, going off to the side, and again here, I wanna make sure that my back's not dipping down, my butt's not hiked up. I wanna try and keep my back as flat as I possibly can. So I'm alternating my arms, I'm reaching, and I'm just going side to side. Now if you're really having a hard time with it, yes, you can get on your knees. You can use your knees and bring your hands up. But we're gonna stay in plank position, alternating side to side, bringing our arms all the way out. So we're reaching, and switch it side to side. I'm feeling my obliques, getting onto the sides, feeling all of my core. And we're moving our arms. Five. And four, we're gonna get ready. We're gonna go on to the next one. Two. Superman Y outs. So here we're in a big Y. And then back down. All the way out, big Y, extend. And back down. And we're just gonna be moving up. This one's really great. It gets the lower back, upper back. Also works the glutes, the top of the shoulders, we're just wide out. So it's always important that when you think core, you want to work your lower back. So we're just bringing the hands all the way out. We're extending our legs, we're wide out as far as we can and bringing it down. Going all the way through. If you gotta take a break, you can, but we're gonna try and just go all the way through these exercises. So we're just gonna bring the hands out. Moving them up. Shoulders will burn a little, that's all right. Not Five, too bad. Four, all right, next, three, we got a cardio move. Two, we're gonna get right into it. One. Break dancers. So we're in a plank position. 
you're gonna come out and then you're basically gonna bring a hand to foot and then you're back down. Hand to foot, back down. If you have to do it on your knees, you could. And you can basically just bring your knee to the hand if you're really fatigued, you're a beginner. But we're more advanced, we're here. We're just going from side to side. Okay, now I know I'm doing this slow. If you're advanced, you can go a little bit faster, right? So we could be here, boom, boom. Going side to side. Tapping the feet, hands to feet, kicking on each move. And if you want to get more twist, you can come all the way up. Get those hands to the feet. Now you might be wondering why I didn't do this in the beginning going all the way through, but I want to show all levels. And make Five, sure everybody can do this. Alright, next three, move. Two, back on your back. One. Bicycles. So we're here. Elevated, twist, and kick. Exhale and squeeze. Oh, my abs are on fire. But see, I need this too. Because I don't stay crazy ripping and lean all the time. But remember, this is just 10 minutes out of your day. So you can handle this. But we'll go on side to side. Now if you're having a hard time with this one, you can simply just do a small crunch and a little twist, keeping the legs up. Or you can stay down and just small crunches coming up. But if you can, try to keep your legs 90 and switch and kick. And you're going side to side. Your abs should be burning right now. I know my are. So we're exhaling, we're squeezing. We're going side to side. And we're getting into our next move. So we have the bird dog. On the bird dog here, if you're a beginner, basically you just stay in this position here. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring the arms up and then bring it back down. I had to bring apart for a second. So we're here, we're up, and then we're bringing it in. We're up, we're kicking, we're extending. Try not to arch the back like crazy. Try not to, you're gonna round it a little bit, not too much, but arm extended, opposite arm the knee or opposite elbow to knee. So, bringing the elbow towards the knee, exhaling and squeezing, we're reaching for the top. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced, you can try and do opposites here, and then you can stay in a plank position, and then bringing it down, and then bringing it up, and then bringing it down. Now, yes, I'm a little shaky. <laughs> it can get a little hard. I know I'm not making this look perfect, but it's just a little bit more advanced, all right? And then we're gonna take it to the next side, so now, just do your opposite. So, we'll start off, we'll bring the hand up, and we'll bring it back down. And we'll bring it up, and we'll bring it down. And again, like I said, if you're advanced, you could do the other one where you're in that full plank position. So we can get into full plank here, and then you can bring the opposite hand to knee, bring it in, exhale and squeeze and raise. Yes, this is hard, and I should do this workout more often, but that's why I started this series, because again, I'm gonna have a hard time with this too. So, I might not be able to go all the way through it, but again, I've been in crazy good shape before, so I'm doing these workouts along with you, so we can all get in really great shape together. So we're bringing that elbow towards me, exhale and squeeze, and if you're still crushing it on the advanced right here, Five. good for you, we're bringing it in, okay? And then next, we have our side plank. Right. So we're gonna get right into these. You're gonna do right and left. So we're here, we're on to the side. We're just holding. Now, we got a lot of modifications we can do. If you're just dead tired, drop your knee towards the ground. We can elevate the leg. Or we can even stay right here. I'm still feeling my core. A little bit more advanced or a regular side plank. We're here. If you wanna add a little bit of flair, you can get your elbow, bulk, crunch, and bring your knee and reach and exhale and squeeze and crunch, reaching out to the side. You can also leg tap and reach. Leg tap and reach, or just leg add or abduction. So you're raising the legs away from the center line of the body. So we're raising up, you can sweep out. I see I'm already dripping sweat. So we're here, all right? We're holding this side plank. If you're getting tired, you can stay here. Like I said, you can drop to your knees. And in just a second, we're gonna switch we're gonna go to the opposite side and we're gonna side plank one. on the other side. So 
Here we go. All right, head pose. I didn't want to have the beat from the side. So anyways, we're going to get through this workout. It's my first time shooting it, so I don't care if I'm messing up or something's bad. We're just nailing this out and I'm doing it with you, all right? So I'm sweating here. I'm in the side plank. Again, like I said, if you're a beginner, you can stay down onto the knee, keeping one knee down or one foot down. You're still going to work your core, okay? This is for everybody, so I want you to attempt it. But make sure that you at least have done your foam rolling first, all right? So you don't want to hurt yourself. So we're holding the side plank here. Again, we can get the reach. You can exhale and squeeze. Bring the arms out. Bring the knees in to the elbow. Reaching. We're squeezing. We're getting it through. We're almost done here, okay? This is just a 10 minute workout, all right? So 10 minutes. We're getting it in. Five, we're bringing the elbow four, towards the knees. Three, we're exhaling. Two, we're squeezing. One. We're crunching. Plank squat thrusters. All right, final move. So plank position. Pop the squat. Back down, plank position, hold. Squat thruster, all right? Now, if you're having a hard time with that, you can basically, here, come back into squat, and then hold there. And you can walk it back, all right? If you're a beginner, you can sit there. Just make sure when you sit in that squat, you don't want to be onto your knees. You want to push the hips and the butt back, okay? But if you're a little bit advanced, boom, pop. Plank position, pull. Squat, thruster, plank. We're kicking it out. And if you want to go rapid fire, okay, you can. And kicking through. Should be getting really tired by now. Yes, this is kind of poor conditioning, but this is how we're going to melt it out the body. Lose a little bit of weight. The front nutrition is checked. Boom! Wow, that was a little bit harder than I thought. I know that my bird dogs were looking a little bit ugly when I had my hands raising, but again, this is a workout that I could benefit from. You see, I'm spitting sweat. So I really hope you enjoy this workout. It's only 10 minutes, okay? And even me being a personal trainer and a coach, I've had a hell of a workout. So I hope you enjoyed it. And feel free to leave some comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this workout? Was it effective? How hard was it? And also give me some advice on what else you would like to see because I want to keep these going. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. So I promise to have a giveaway. So I got a $20, $20 Amazon gift card, okay? This contest is going to be running for one week from the air date of this video. Afterwards, I'm going to pick one random commenter from the comment section. You just got to like the video, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications so you never miss any of my future content. Okay, that's it. Now, if this video happens to do well and it gets over 100 likes in a week, I know it's not that much, but I'm a small channel right now from the airing of this video. I'm going to give out five of these $20 gift cards. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 100. Okay, so five people can win. Share this with your friends. Share this with your family. Let's get everybody in shape this year. Let's get everybody working out. It's 10 minutes. It doesn't take that long, okay? So, thanks so much for watching. Again, if you're new here, please make sure you subscribe. Click that bell so you never miss any of my notifications. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.